Hey Adam, this is Nate. Thanks for reaching out on Facebook. Just wanted to put this quick site review together for you. Kind of give you some free tips and tips, a little attack plan on how to outrank your local competition. I always go over three things. Content, citations, and backlinks. And we'll get into what all of that is. I always start with content. With Google, content is king. They like to see about 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 words on those back service pages. And the reason for that is so you can organically get those keywords and keyword phrases that people are typing into Google on the content on your page. That is the fastest, easiest way for Google to find them and know that your site is relevant to what people are looking for. You know, if you scroll down through the site, the site overall has got a very nice layout to it. I really do like the pictures and stuff that you have. It just doesn't have a lot of content. And you really need to get that content in there so you can get your keywords and keyword phrases organically into that content. You know, here's one of the other guys that I found in the area. Um, again, not a bad looking site, but there's still not a ton of content here. So they shouldn't be terribly hard to beat out. Just get the right content and the right keywords in there. You know, here's one of the other ones. Again, site doesn't look bad. Pretty short on the content. You know, they do have a few paragraphs here and there, but they're probably closer to the 700 word mark. Um, not that it's necessarily a terrible thing. There are other ways to get keywords into your website, but having them organically in the content is the fastest and easiest way to do that and be found for those keywords. I'd say probably 90% of the sites that I look at are short on content. This is Arif's. This is one of the paid tools we use to break these sites down. I don't know if your site's fairly new or not. Sometimes it takes a couple months for these tools to start picking up all the information on the site, but currently you're not showing up for any data here. So if we go over here and look, you know, these guys are showing up for 75 keywords. These guys have 83. So we can go in here and look and see what keywords these guys are showing up for. So they've got pressure washing Greenville SC. There's 100 people a month looking for that. They're in the sixth position. They're getting about seven visits a month to their site. Generally, the number one guy gets about a third of that traffic, probably 30 to 35 percent. So you're looking 30 to 35 clicks a month to your website if you were to be ranked number one for this keyword. You know, they've got roof cleaning Greenville SC. There's 20 people a month searching that. They're in the third position. They're getting about two visits a month. Curb appeal, I really don't count because that's their company name. But, you know, they've also got gutter cleaning here, um, pressure washing in Greer, South Carolina. Um, so window cleaning Greenville. These are the type of keywords that I like to see. You know, like with pressure washing Greenville SC, it's generic. It says what you do and where you do it. People that are looking for pressure washing but don't know what company they're looking for, this is the type of stuff they're putting into Google. So those are the key type of keywords I would like to see on your site. The second thing that I talk, generally talk about would be your citations. Um, this right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. You should have a Google My Business page set up for your company. If not, I do highly recommend getting that done and verified as soon as possible. That is something we can help you with if you need it. But what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number, exactly the way that it's listed on your Google My Business page, listed in multiple directories across the internet. There's Yelp. Yellow Pages, Merchant Circle, Better Business Bureau. There's literally hundreds, if not thousands of them out there. It's just a matter of tracking them down, getting your information put in there. Most of them are free to do. It just takes a lot of time to track down all the different directories and enter all the information. Citations are one of the biggest factors into getting in here. Some of the other factors are going to be your star rating, the number of reviews that you have, whether or not your Google My Business page is 100% filled out completely, how many pictures you have on that page, and whether or not they're properly optimized. So those are some of the other factors, but citations is one of the biggest factors to getting into that map pack. So get out there, get in as many of those directories as you can. The third thing would be backlinks. What a backlink is, is any website that has a link back to you. So a lot of those directories and citations will give you backlinks. You know, if I go to Yellow Pages and I find your listing in there, you know, on yp.com, 
there should, there'll be a button or something I can click that will take me directly to your website. That is what a backlink is. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, and the more authority they're going to give you. But you do want to avoid the spammy type of backlinks. You know, try to keep most of your links industry specific. You know, citations, you can go out and get all kinds of citations. But when it comes to the other type of backlinks, there's blog commenting, guest posting, stuff like that. You do want to try to keep those type of backlinks relevant to the industry you're in. They will pass you the most authority and the most power. You know, if we go over here, these guys only have 11 backlinks. These guys have 342. So we can go in here and see where these guys are getting their backlinks from. Like this is a blog blog post that they did here or a blog comment. This is another blog that they're in. This is another blog that they're in. So they're doing pretty good at keeping up on the blogs and getting some comments in there. But what we can do, because of the tools we have, we can go in here and look at where these guys are getting their backlinks from. Check the power and the authority of those pages. Make sure they are the type of backlinks that we want. And then go in here and try to get backlinks on those same pages for you. I call it the copycat method. You know, find the guy that's got the most, copy what he's doing, go out and find some more on our own, and beat this guy at his own game. But that is my basic overview for you. You know, I hope it helps you out. I hope you like the information. Feel free to give me some feedback. I'd love to hear back from you on what you thought. But I want to thank you for your time, and have a great day. We'll talk